This video will show you how to use the James loudspeaker wood router template to achieve a perfectly cut round or square hole for the small aperture series trim kits. This process applies to 3 inch, 4 inch, 7 inch, and 9.5 inch sizes. Items that are recommended for this installation process are as follows. A router with an 8 inch spiral router bit using a 5 16 bushing. A router with 1 quarter inch spiral down cutting bit with 7 16 bushing. An optional corner chisel, a file, a jigsaw, large clamps, tape measure, drill with a 3 8 inch bit, double sided carpet tape, and the James loudspeaker wood router template. Once the small aperture enclosure and module has been installed and tested, the speaker location can be identified on your ceiling material and precisely cut. For tongue and groove wood ceilings, we'll use the optional wood router template. There are two methods of attaching the plexiglass router template to the ceiling boards. The first method is to use a pair of clamps once you center the router template's etched crosshair markings on the target location. If using a clamp is not feasible in location or spacing, the second option is to use double-sided carpet tape to temporarily adhere the router template to your material. Once the template is in place, you'll be ready to make your first cut. For a square opening, drill one hole in any corner using a 3 8 drill bit as a starting point. Next, using a 1 8 spiral router bit with a 5 16 bushing, carefully follow the square template to outline the cut. This will give you a pre-cut line to follow with the jigsaw. Be careful not to cut too close to the edge of the template. Once outlined, drill the remaining three holes in each corner. Be sure to stay within the pre-cut groove. Next, using a jigsaw, rough cut the opening and be sure to stay a minimum of one quarter inch away from the edge of the router template. We recommend doing this so the 1 quarter inch spiral down cutting bit with a 7 16 bushing can complete the outlined cut of the template precisely. After the cut has been made, we recommend checking that the opening is true before loosening clamps or removing the tape and template. Gently place the grill into the cut to identify if any edges need adjustments. If adjustments are needed, you may use a specialty tool, such as a corner chisel to correct the corners. Additionally, you may need to use a file to adjust the fit. Remove the router template and place the grill into the material to check for a flush fit. Adhesive foam pads are provided for a secure press fit. For precise round holes using the template, drill a single hole in the center of the material. Then, using a 1 8 spiral router bit with a 5 16 bushing, carefully follow the circle template to outline for the jigsaw. With the jigsaw, rough cut the opening from the guideline. Be sure to stay a minimum of 1 quarter inch away from the edge of the router template. Then, using a 1 quarter inch spiral down cutting bit with a 7 16 bushing, complete the outlined cut of the template. The remaining step would be to make minor adjustments to the material as needed to ensure a precise fit. Secure with adhesive foam pads and the process is complete. For detailed written installation instructions, please see the links in the description below. Enjoy!